I didn't do nothing Puffy did. <laughs> yeah, no, it was just so, it was just so excitement. There's so much excitement that there was no reason for me to put something in our drink. I need you to remember. I need you to remember this. The foundation. Thank you. It seems like half the music industry has been on hush mouth ever since his house has got raided. And the other 10% of the music industry has all been crawling out of the woodworks with their own little stories about Diddy. And you know, when someone starts getting exposed like this, it gives other people the courage to finally speak out and reveal the truth about said person as well. And also, it attracts the clout chasers who will spread lies and place themselves in locations and situations they were never in simply because they want their name attached to a story that's getting a lot of attention. But one person who has adamantly been calling out Diddy for years is 50 Cent. All right, so you and you and Diddy, you and Puff Cool? No, I don't, I don't really oh, about that. Okay, damn. All right, I don't know what that means. Okay, meant. all right. Oh, yeah. Okay, okay. we'll come back to it. All right. <laughs> Vodka, Literally four years I've been listening to 50 Cent speak out about Diddy, joke about Diddy, rant about Diddy, take little jabs at Diddy in random podcast interviews, radio shows, you name it. But I never really fully understood the beef. Now, 50 Cent is known for feuding and beefing and having problems with a lot of other rappers and people in the music industry. And it, it, it gets kind of hard to keep up because he's always, or at least he used to, always be beefing with someone. He's always at odds and disputing with someone, if you will. But I always understood those conflicts. I understood what the two people or the groups of people were fighting about. But when it came to 50 Cent's problem with Diddy, I never really understood what he had against Diddy. Don't get me wrong. It was always hilarious when he would go on his Puff Daddy rants, but I never really understood what he had against him. Well, in this recent lawsuit against Diddy that everyone's talking about, it's alleged that 50 Cent's, own, 50 Cent's own baby mother, his BM, his baby mama, is allegedly a sex worker for Diddy. Let's go ahead and dive right into the paperwork, shall we? Young Miami, Jade, and Daphne Joy were paid a monthly fee to work as Mr. Combs' sex workers and received payment via wire transfer. It's like, yo, so yo, when we gonna get the chance to, you know, to kick it, like, we can just hang out, nigga, we gotta, we gotta Hold kick that. it. This is Paul. Okay. You're telling me we gotta kick it and shit, and he's like, right. yo, why don't we, like, go shopping or some shit? I mean, like, I pay for it. And I was like, what the fuck this nigga just said? <laughs> <laughs> I got the fuck away from him because I was like, this nigga like, fucking wait. This nigga just told me he'd take me shopping. <laughs> and this is the shit, this is shit that goes on. But there's your little fruit pile. It's a fruit, fruit pile. <laughs> it's a fruit pile. Man, trust me. You see these little weird ass pictures and shit like that out there? I'm just sitting out there for no reason. Yo, and you don't see accident pictures with me like kissing it. Like that doesn't happen by accident. Chill, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm telling you. Yes, I'm telling you. Look, look. Later you're going to find out a little shit that I'll be saying. Oh, man. <laughs> Do you understand what I'm saying? Chill. Man, listen. I'm trying to tell you the truth. But Yo. the truth, sometimes it hurts. Right. It hurts people and they don't want to hear that shit. But right. I'm trying to tell you. Nah. Nigga asked me. Could he take me shopping? And it fucked me up because I'm looking like, what the fuck? Did this nigga just like, I want to take you shopping. I got a bankroll out this motherfucker. I want to take you shopping. Why? Because when you walk around looking so motherfucking good, I'm going to feel like, God damn it, that motherfucker with me. That's all I want to do. That's all I want to do. But when a nigga tell me he want to take me shopping, what the fuck is the matter with this nigga? Wait, hold on.
<laughs> if you ask me, it sounds like Diddy was trying to turn 50 Cent into a sex worker as well. But ever since this information was revealed about 50 Cent's babies or baby mother, 50 Cent has been going on this trolling spree against her. Let's look at some of the posts. I didn't know you was a sex worker, you little sex worker. LOL, yo, this ish is a movie. You moved a, a mile away in hopes of having another baby with me, but I was busy. So you moved back and then you started receiving money from Brother Love. Now here we are, little sex worker. And now 50 Cent is actually taking her to court trying to get sole custody of their child now that all of this crazy information has been revealed. And listen, I don't blame the guy. I mean, the mom, you know, in this situation is wrapped up in some pretty shady stuff. He says things, he doesn't even know what he's saying is like fruity. Oh, yeah. That's the off. <laughs> when Ensign's people gone. say that to me, I get a little uncomfortable. <laughs> I get uncomfortable, like he said, he says something now, to me. Now, and possibly the most shocking turn of events of all, as I talked to you about in a prior video, there were hidden cameras in every room of Diddy's house. So there's a lot of video footage out there of rich and powerful people partying with Diddy, doing Lord knows what to Lord knows who. And now 50 Cent has put the word out there on the streets that he's willing to pay top dollar to anyone, anyone out here in Hollywood, anyone in the music business, anyone in the industry, that may have been to Diddy's parties, he's willing to pay them for footage and evidence from those parties. It's almost as if 50 Cent has opened up his own investigation for the sole purpose of just trolling Diddy and his baby mama. Let's go ahead and look at this post. Shaking my head. This is gonna be so good. What you want to bet, I'm gonna get these tapes. I'll pay top dollar for them. You been over there? I don't go to Puff's parties. <laughs> That's what a lot of people are saying. I mean, it's not like 50 Cent's the only one. Cat Williams was just speaking out about this not that long ago. If you're someone that's gone to Diddy's parties, it's probably because you have um, partaking in some things that maybe you shouldn't be partaking in. And if you're a dude at Diddy's parties, chances are you've gotten um, something shoved up your rear end. I'm just put it like that, okay, to keep it nicely. So this information has been out there for a long time. 50 Cent has been on it for years. And now it's just all coming to the light. And 50 Cent is not letting this go. He's going to troll every step of the way. And I wouldn't be surprised if people maybe come forward and, and do so. 50 Cent some videos. A lot of people are looking for a way right now to insert themselves in this story or attach themselves to this story in whatever way possible. You're going to hear people from 30 years ago claiming that Diddy did this, Diddy did that. You know, I mean, we're going to see. Uh, the floodgates are open. We're going to see so much more come out. But for now, let me know your thoughts about this down in the comments below. While you're down there, if you want to donate to the channel, you can do so via Super Thanks or via Cash App, or you can help the channel for free by liking, sharing, and subscribing. But with that being said, I'll talk to you all very soon in the next one.